Hey guys, this video is for moms and dads and the kids if they want to watch it too. Um, today we're in this video we're going to talk about counting. Um, so we want our kids to be able to count to at least 20 by the time they graduate preschool. And so before entering kindergarten, that's our goal. Um, so I want to show you some of the things that we use here at the preschool so you know and some of the tips and tricks that we're doing with the kids um, that will help you at home too. And so uh, the first thing that I do every day is uh, we do the calendar and we count to the date and we point and count. Uh, two, two things with counting, we want them to be able to count one-to-one -one correspondence, which means that if they're counting a group of objects, um, I want them to line those objects up. And so like if you're giving your kids goldfish or for example at preschool you know if, we, if it's goldfish day i say okay everybody put their goldfish in a line and then we touch and count every single goldfish and to see if those kids can track with their fingers and keep their brains and their voice at the same time that they're touching instead of going fast like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and i'm only on the third goldfish does that make sense um and so just ignore this red line on here, but this is a, um, a 10 frame. Um, so the kids have seen these in school before. We always start at the top and we go from left to right, which is just reinforcing the way that we read. Um, this is as easy as getting a piece of paper and putting 10 squares in it. Super duper easy. Um, a lot of the kids can get past 10. And so if that's the case, then draw two separate 10 frames. Don't draw 20 squares. Do two of these separate 10 frames like this. If you wanna draw them on the paper, laminate them, you wanna make a graph on your computer, um, and then you can use this as well. Sorry, I've got a magnet. I should have taped these on. Anyway, so um, these 10 frames will help the kids. So like if, if it's snack time, pull out a laminated sheet and say, okay, everybody count their snacks. Even if they don't have 10, I want them to take their snacks and I want to put them, them to put them in their 10 frames like this. They're gonna fill up as many um, boxes as they can with the snack that you give them. And then they can count them and, and you'll say, okay, everyone count. They're gonna start from left to right at the top and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in that 10 frame, there are seven. If you give them more snacks and it fills up, you know, the bottom 10 frame, then they'll just keep going. They'll stop at the end and then come back to the left line and work their way towards the right and the bottom, just like the way that we read. Um, so this is great to get yourself a couple 10 frames um, to print those or draw them on a piece of paper and send them through the laminator. Go get them laminated, even like in a clear plastic sheet. Um, a sheet protector like this put your 10 frames in a sheet protector so that you know they're eating and then you can just wipe it off after snack time so that's something that would help with their counting skills um, another thing that we have at school is our slip and slide this is the kids' favorite thing and Miss Cammy does this every day and so I'll hold it like this and then we'll count and I'm gonna count all the way to 20 ready one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And so as you get to this 10, give them the first sound. Um, after your first, you know, you get 10 and then you go 11. Uh, and then I want you to give them the first sound if they're having a struggle turning the number over. 11, tw tw 12, 13, and really do your TH sound with your tongue and your teeth so that they can recognize the difference between that TH sound on the 13 and then the 14 and have them make it with their mouth. Plus sound is a 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, and 20. You get the point. And so, but really exaggerate the way that your mouth is shaped because kids who are hard of hearing or have a hard time differentiating those sounds because they do sound the same, that TH um, and the F. And so that's why a lot of the kids will say four, or what is it, 13, thir 13, or go 13, 14 again. Anyways, that's why that 13, 14, 15 is hard because we really need to exaggerate the shape of our mouth. Um, this is something that I have made for the kids out of cardboard. You can do this. It doesn't have to be black. This is just cardboard to make them all the same. I got it at the dollar store. And red and white beads. The reason that they do the red and white beads um, is so, you know, when your kids get older, they can start counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. Um, they can start seeing a relationship between five and two more, make seven. So all of this, they use these in kindergarten too. This is where I learned this, been trained on how to use these. Um, and so it, they don't have to be red and white. If you have some beads, just make sure that the, you know, you have five and five on the top and five and five on the bottom. Even if you did, you know, four different colors, you could do that instead of the two, but it just helps them see the relationship between five and five. All it is is a piece of cardboard and two pipe cleaners and 10 beads. And then on the back, all I've done is wrapped this pipe cleaner around and taped it. So it's super easy to make. We have these in class. Every single kid has one of these. So instead of this big slip inside, they have their little slip insides that they get to use and practice with every day. That's great for counting. Um, as opposed to the two 10 frames. There's tons of ways to do it. This would be fun to make with them and um, you know, put in their box. Um, for those kids who are getting past 20, um, this is called an abacus and it just sits on the table. There's a hundred beads on this. And so they can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's one of the songs that they could do. You could count by tens. Um, for the kids who are rolling over and who are about done, I'm gonna move this down just a little bit so you guys can see. Um, for the kids who are past their 20, um, a trick that I used in kindergarten is to hold their fist to help them roll over to the next grouping. Um, and so we start with a closed fist and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because there's a one in front of the ten, there's your one. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A two and a 20. They start with the same town. 20 is almost like two. You can hear the two in it. 21. All these numbers have two in front of them, you could say. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 3 and 30, you can hear the 3. So they're visualizing the 3, which is in front of the 30, okay? So your kindergartners, your preschoolers who are ready to move on with this, have them count. The bouncing helps their one-to-one their -one correspondence. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 4. You can hear it, 40. Okay, so that was one of the tricks that we helped with the kids because they can get through, um, you know, 21 to 29, but will struggle with turning the number over. And so their fingers will help them with that. And you can go all the way up, you know, uh, 70, 8T, there's eight fingers, nine fingers, 90, and then 100 is your two tens. Um, so that's something that helps too. Um, another thing I have that we use in class are our number lines. Um, this is just zero to 10. You, uh, they can take a pencil and point zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. You can flip it over and I've got 0 to 20 on the back side. So having a number line for them is good um, for those kids who are past uh, 0 through 20 and can recognize them. Print them off 100 chart. This one goes to 120 because that's what we did in first grade um, when I taught first grade. Uh, but in kindergarten, they will just need their numbers 0 through 100. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show you some of the tools that we're using in class and some of the things that you could be doing at home and just keep in their little homework baskets. And, you know, they can pull this out and you can be listening and be able to hear them counting. And it's more of a self-guided activity um, that will help. So anyways, let me know if you have any questions about that. Thanks.